Is that just me? <laughs> huh? It do you want Do you want game push. audio? I can send. I can. Yes, please. This here you go. Everyone. Yeah, nice and tasty. Um, so game one, wheel jumping in a uh, hotch is going. Game and watch rather than Rob, which I think is a really really smart choice. Um, Game and Watch does so much better in the matchup. It's one of the few matchups that Pikachu loses to. How does the audio I sound? Agree. Uh, it's, it's a, I agree. I can hear it partially. It's a, like, louder or slightly, lower? Slightly. A little bit louder. There we go. But yeah, I agree exactly what you said, Dara. Just like uh, the the fact that going Game and Watch, you get to put out much better hitboxes without the worry of the large hitbox getting comboed to hell by Pikachu. Mm -hmm. uh, and not nearly much of an issue trying to land like so. He unfortunately landed directly next to mouse rat oh but. my god yeah mouse got definitely just like caught him pressing a button that would have effectively covered the neutral air dodge as well um right now hotch is being really patient with ledge getting a nice whip punish on the folder mm -hmm. oh my god okay i actually kind of like that idea like fake it out make it look like you're, uh you're gonna land next to game watch and then back off to try and look for maybe a dash attack mm. coming from hotch mm -hmm. One of the things that Hotch has been doing a couple times, and you, I, we're going to be seeing it, you already seen Mouse Rat start to stop, is because of that bucket, you have to respect uh, not doing too many Thunder Jolts, which is huge, because the, usually mm -hmm. Pikachu just kind of use that as a free approach tool, and not nearly as prominent in this matchup. Yeah, for sure. But right now, Mouse Rat's doing a really good job of just keeping Hotch stuck in the corner. Right now, he just needs to find a way to uh, take the stock. A forwarder will do it, but... Oh my god, Hutch almost stole it with his down air. Yeah, that was really good DI to the corner right there. Especially with the side that you got hit on. You got hit on the right, got sent to the left. So, uh, mm -hmm. Mouse Rat gonna be able to walk away from that. But now we're at a point where both these characters yeah. pretty much at kill percent. Hey, up smash out of shield, possibly the up B is actually be what clanks. And I like yeah. the defensive nature of Mouse Rat. Just like, like not over committing whatever it's necessary. Yeah, and unfortunately only connecting the Sally spot of the F smash. Um, right now, Hotch, look how... I was about to say how patient he was, but then he just threw out a dash <laughs> You know, it was uh, it, it was one of those spots where, like, he was still playing patient, but also, like, had an opportunity to try and go for it. Maybe if uh, Mouse Rat moved a little early. Mm -hmm. Mouse Rat's going to take the first stock. Uh, it's a really, really even gameplay from both. Like, nobody's really doing anything to mm -hmm. it. Oh, that was good frame trap, but smart choice on air dodge into the left. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely, because if he had dodge right, I believe he might have got hit by the second hit since it's later, right? As a, as a face of the right side of the up Yeah, and you also give stage positioning up, too, because you end up going into the corner, so you could possibly get caught on a jump or be f just be forced to have to respect Hotch in that position. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it just seemed like the golden option at that point. That was just really, like, I feel like Mouse Guard's really, really mentally present in disadvantage. He's being, like, really intentional with it. But going to get spiked with the, I think that might have even been a two-frame uh, down there. Yeah, it definitely looks very close to two-frame. It, it kept finally catching uh, the stock. Only taking 37-ish percent now, too, uh, on, uh, like, after losing up for stock. So that was still really good, Keep, like, mitigating the damage as much as possible. Mm -hmm. So Hutch, like, he's, like, dashing back and forth now. He doesn't want to initiate. He's like, no, he knows that, okay, he's holding center stage. But he does overextend a little bit too far, and as a result, oh, Oh my god, <laughs> that 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 reminds me so much of like every time you see it, it just reminds you of the inkling rapid jab where it's like, okay, all right, hold up. So I was staring at that and w there, there's a thing that just went out on Twitter recently where game watches have <laughs> discovered that they can actually cycle out to the nine. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> it's basically they discovered that Game & Watch's hammer is based on a uh, predetermined seated RNG. Mm -hmm. um, but however, they have not found a way to manipulate it in versus mode yet. They only found a way to do it in single player so far. Um, so that's not going to have any effect on competitive play in the time being. Okay, it just, ma it just made me second guess it for a second because Hotch looked, uh, had turned to the left, threw one bacon, and then decided to go do something else afterwards. So I'm like, hmm, hmm. is this the seed thing? I'm feeling a little sus here. Luckily for Mouse Rat, able to take that second stock, still holding a lead here. It pretty much kind of similar to the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, like it, you already see Hotch is doing an excellent job of just keeping the damage to a minimum. Yeah, for sure. Um, I feel like Hotch is like sort of struggling to initiate the stock. Like he see, can't seem to get a proper hit on Mouse Rat. He's a little bit too afraid of pushing in too far, but he needs to take the stock right now because otherwise it's just starting to approach the possibility of a timeout. Yeah, the big thing, I mean, with two, two minutes, 40 seconds, uh, Game Watch has plenty of kill potential. It's just, uh, like you said, it's so hard to approach uh, Pikachu in general. Mm -hmm. Like it, it, you're almost asking for trouble. So you have to try and just dance around find out one mistake in the defense and, and like open the gap up. But Mouse Rash has just been playing so good on defense. And here we go, finally finds the openings. And now all the trades are in favor of Mouse Rat. 
Mm-hmm. Mouse got getting another sweet spot after smash. I love how early he low profiled under the game and watches rising back here, but another F smash to take out the stock. Mouse got looking so comfortable in the match. He played it really, really patiently. He played it really reservedly. And I feel like he was baiting out like a lot of commitments, mm-hmm. unsafe commitments from Hotch. I agree. And also there was uh, a couple times where Mouse Rat decided to uh, go for the forward smash at safe range. Obviously, it's so good at the uh, the ledge. But when you do the same option over and over again, it could become predictable. But the thing is, uh, it was always at just enough of a position consistently to make sure that there was nothing that Hotch could do to punish it. So. Uh, let's see if Hosh finds a way around that going into next game, uh, possibly going for a character select or maybe just going through the stages right now. But uh, I still think if it's an option between Rob and Game & Watch, I, uh, um, if it's a small stage, Game & Watch. But if we see a large stage like that again, we might see the Rob. Mm-hmm. Um, but I Mouse think w- with Sorry, Rob... Sorry, Mouse Rat FD and Lilat. Hmm. Sorry about that. Uh, FD and Lilat. That's an interesting choice. Kalos um, an available pick. That's one of the first things that comes to mind if I was thinking uh, for a Rob pick. Yeah. I don't know if you guys stage list currently, actually. I should... It's I should a, it's Xanadu, basically. If that helps. If not, uh, it's... Kind, kind of, yeah. Uh, we're, 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 we're a Lila player this game. is a counterpick, <laughs> and Unova is banned. All the other all the other obvious stages Unova are Unova should be set free. I think so, too. Oh. I will fight that. Oh, hey, look at that. It was Kalos and Rob. <laughs> so Yeah, that's a pretty standard Rob counterpick. But, like, I'm yeah, pretty that- sure he started off not Rob just because Pikachu is a really hard counterpick on Rob. Big boy. Yeah. So it. he definitely just, like, chose, um, you know, definitely, like, chose Rob just for preference and maybe just character comfort. Yeah, that's kind of where I was assuming that, uh, that that's what I was pointing it out before, because one of the main things you want to do is you want to open up the stage. Uh, you have the wider blast zones to live, mm-hmm. and Rob's always going to get that early kill off the side with side B if mm-hmm. caught anyways. So it, it works so well uh, for Hotch to, to not really have to engage with Pikachu nearly as much while also still playing uh, perfectly fine and neutral. Yeah, but I feel like Mouse God is just now because, uh, you know, of course, because he is fighting Rob instead of Game & Watch, he's able to use Thunder Jolt much more to his advantage. True. He's it as a poking tool, forcing Hotch to sit in shield. Look how much damage he's just able to rack up and jump on top of Hotch, especially with the limited out of shield options. Yeah, it's just one of the, it's one of those things too. Uh, I, when you play characters like the heavies or anybody who's big bodied, you you know going to this uh, a match against Pikachu, it's like okay, at some point I'm going to hit 70. percent It's not possible to avoid. So how do I play around that? And if Hotch can adjust accordingly, oh there you go. There's the tech, but unfortunately gets a, a follow up air dodge after the tech. And that's gonna end up leading to the first stock. Oh, Mouse got starting his nary loops. So much damage. Rob, unfortunately, not having a proper button to be able to escape that. Um, and not having the fastest air dodge either. Unfortunately, Mouse got got the final hit of the neutral air. Not what he was anticipating. I believe that works up until like 60%. Yeah, it Rob goes for, Yeah, it goes quite a while for Rob. I'm pretty sure it's 60-ish range too. Uh, just try to... Try- yeah, that Thunder Jolt stopped that. I don't know if that was going to catch it that position anyways, but just being able to throw Thunder Jolts up on the wall, that's one of the things that Pikachu definitely benefits from on this stage. Immediately going for the drag down neutral, thinking he might be able to get converted into the Thunderbolt. Um, I like the intention, even though it didn't connect. Agreed. Yeah, you always want to just consistently exert the pressure and make it, even if it doesn't work at that point, you can always hold on to that option later on or make cops start to think that that mm-hmm. might be the case, uh, it, it, that layered conditioning. Mouse Rat not moving at all, doesn't really see it need to. Yeah, and Rob like being such a big body and Florida being such an active and long multi-hit, even though Mouse Rat was like completely on the other side of him uh, by the time he got up from the mistech, you know, it still was able to connect. Exactly. You see Mouse Rat just continuing to keep these ledge traps up. Uh, like Hotch is definitely in, uh, it does have kill throw range at this point. It's just it's tracking down Pikachu. Oh, uh, navigated around the spike, but it doesn't matter because the coverage was still there. The Thunder is yeah. going to lead to the stock. I mean, I feel like Mouse God is just much more on top of Hotch this game. He seems to have no trouble initiating. Hotch is just struggling to deal with all of these Thunder Jolts that he's being presented with. Yeah, you know, I, I definitely like the blueprinted idea that Hotch was going for, going for Kalos and, uh, in this matchup, try and deal with something that's maybe a little bit better for him, comfortable-wise. But 
so far, oh my god, <laughs> Mouse Rat with, with two stocks up, it, I, don't, I don't blame that at all. You have two stocks to work with, just try and go dig deep, maybe get that spike. Yeah, and at 162%, he was at more than enough extra credit to the point that he could afford to go for commitments like that. Um, you know, the risk versus reward was so heavily skewed in this favor. Hodge. Exactly, acceptable stuff. damage is so important, and like it's a no when you can and when not to do that in this game. I like the idea of throw, like having the gyro in hand on the way back up, maybe cover the attempt to go down. But once again, Mousetrap being up two stocks is just completely content with holding ledge and put those thunder jolts out and force Hotch to make a mistake. And those thunder jolts, they keep calling out Hotch's commitments to the side B off the stage, keeps knocking him out of it, and it lets Mousetrap get back onto stage for three on a stage like Kalos. Like, Hotch can't seem to get a proper edge guard to even ledge trap on Mousetrap anytime he tries. Yeah, the attempts are there, but the execution is just barely missing. And the, the, reading the, the like, uh, the, just not so much to panic, but just being in that position, you have to guess. And uh, that, that was a good call by Mousetrap. But Kalos coming through, uh, letting Koch play a little longer. Mm -hmm. So I need to go with a little bit of gyro play. I like the shield pressure that he was going with the down tilt, and he tried to cover the goal with the back heel, but unfortunately, Pikachu's goal out of shield is a little bit too long. Yeah, definitely had the right idea, and but that down air was also the perfect idea. That's going to be going up two games. Uh, is it best of three or is it best of five? Best of five. Best of five. Okay, so yeah, all right. So still same statement. Going up two games currently on Hotch. Um, you know, pre-match, this is exactly what I thought he was going to pick, and I thought that was the best chance that you had if you're going to go rob. But um, that that mouth strat definitely understood how to do that. It's not like that's a bad stage for Pikachu at all either. Uh, but the I, I think at this point I'm not too sure. Maybe uh, maybe we run it to a smaller stage. But what do you what do you think uh, Hotch needs to do to try and make the adjustment here? Um, honestly, I feel like so, so, so many times where Hotch just kind of had to hold that in a stage mm -hmm. where he didn't have any platforms to cover himself. I feel like Pikachu just had the ability to constantly jump in on him over and over and over. I think one of the biggest detriments uh, to his play was the fact that the flat sides prevented him from being able to edge guard Pikachu anytime. Mm -hmm. But the flat sides also in turn let Pikachu drop down and follow Gob's trajectory and get like the multiple down airs or the thunderbolts that we saw Mouse God commit to and connect successfully. So I feel like honestly, um, just, just like a stage like either PS2 would definitely fare a lot better or maybe something like Battlefield. Uh, it, he would definitely be looking for. Speaking of, I feel like uh, same band, Battlefield now. Hmm. Yeah, I agree. I agree with uh, uh, like everything you just said with that point too, and it, and it exactly led to Battlefield uh, being able to just maneuver around a little bit differently. We're gonna see the swap back to Game and Watch uh, for Battlefield yeah, at that too. I can see so that. now you have yeah, now you have the ability mm -hmm. to actually escape a bit more to platforms. Uh, it while also uh, putting on that pressure, not like Pikachu again lacks anything. Pikachu doesn't have a bad stage, but, but like just being able to have a, a bit more damage mitigation with these state well, with the platform layout, I, I think it's gonna be yeah, much better. It was like like one worry about like Pika Rob on Battlefield is that Rob isn't like super fast, and Pikachu can edge cancel yeah. on all over the place, and you're like, oh okay, now it's even harder to catch him. But Game and Watch mm -hmm. has like a way faster vertical like way to just like slam the entire like any pillar of uh, of like space wherever he's standing so it's just like if he's mm -hmm. able to read that movement he can just like be like cut that out mm -hmm. you know? yeah you saw it just a second ago too hotch was able to uh, up b and also fade in and out to make it seem like maybe uh, he was gonna fade into the center stage and mouse rat has to cover that mm -hmm. just in case so you it, you it, it's a much it's not as free of a landing option coverage by comparison to the other stages. Oh, oh unfortunately, no. doesn't go for forward yeah. smash. I thought on smash was going to be in range. Um, though not quite yet. I really like how Hotch um, is positioning himself this game as opposed to the last one. He is giving Pikachu a whole lot of space, knowing that Given Watch is just able to catch any whips with his F tilt and his dash attack. Um, and and like just just like that, absolutely like catching all of Mouse Rat's jump ins. Mouse Rat, compared to last game, is definitely struggling much more to initiate. Yeah, and you see, and you see, like uh, the, the very smart decision at that of just kind of slowing it down, waiting. Uh, I I know that's not necessarily the most popular opinion of people, but it, sometimes you just need a reset. Just go mm -hmm. back to the other side of the stage, slow down the pace, and uh, essentially ice your opponent. That way, you can find that opening. Yeah, 
And finally connecting that up smash had the good idea. He called, he tried to call it out before. He was just slightly off with his timing, um, but finally able to connect it. Um, and you know, Game and Watch. It's so scary if Game and Watch lands a grab on Battlefield. He's able to get so many platform extensions. But that was good, really good DI to the corner right there. Adam. What, I mean, even uh, you know, being center stage, I assume Game and Watch is going to die at pretty much any point. So the fact that uh, Hotch is able to hold on to the stock just a little bit longer. Uh, that's going to be huge. And if Hodge could maybe snipe out one of these early stocks, never mind. At well, you would say again, that. <laughs> is what I would have said had things not gone the other way around. Yeah, I mean, oh my god, so much damage from the breakfast meat. And like Pikachu is now stuck on a platform. Game and Watch below you. Definitely the last place that you want to be um, right now. He went through the multi job thinking it would potentially stuff out uh, Pikachu's up B, but he was just a little bit too far ahead. He had to be positioning himself just back a bit for the Exactly. Yeah, you try to cover the can like maybe cover the option cancel or uh, a stop and approach. Uh, right now, I mean, Hotch is still doing an excellent job by comparison to the other games. Like you know, just putting out all these hit boxes and also staying uh, relatively near a platform. It's kind of similar to when you're fighting against someone like mm -hmm. uh, a Pac-Man or a Villager, where they could just kind of hide out and you're forced to approach one of two ways, and they're always anticipating it. Yep. For sure. And I feel like Mouse God, every time it's like he's getting a hit, he's only getting that hit. It always seems like a one-off. He's like struggling to convert like he did when he was fighting Hotch as Rob. Um, but Hotch has just not been able to win neutral once he's past like 15 exchanges. Yeah, the main thing right now is now that you have uh, Mouse God, like very good air dodge away back down towards the ledge because that probably would have... not so Even if not killed, that would have given great prestige positioning to Ho Mouse Rat. So mm -hmm. let's see if... Ho Hotch can somehow close up the stock. Mouse Rat is doing an excellent job almost catching with the poor smash right there. But the up smash, recognizing the aggressive approach from the platform mm -hmm. is going to take it. Yeah. And the, oh my <laughs> God. What? That was brilliant. That was, that was, that was so was good. Impeccable. Yeah. That, that was like genuinely perfectly played for Mouse Rat. He had the perfect response already. Like, there was really nothing else to say about that. Yeah. And also stopping well, in the, the previous stock, it took quite a while to not only get it, but get it back to even. Uh, that time, just immediately removing the stock and getting it back down to one apiece. And now we're looking at Mouser all of a sudden in the lead. Yeah. And he had the right idea. He waited for Hutch to whiff one of his aerials so he dashed back and F smashed. Though he positioned himself a little bit too far back, though he had the right idea. Exactly. And I see Hodge just trying to find the, the way in. But here's where the things struggle. When you're when you're forced to have to come in at Pikachu, now you have to play the guessing game almost. And, and you see Hodge just looking for it. And we've already seen that Hodge is capable of holding a decent lead for, uh, for the beginning. It's just uh, so far with the way Mouse Rat's changed it up, uh, de definitely looking like Mouse Rat is feeling much more comfortable now at this point in the game. That was interesting. I think he tried to convert like the Thunder Jolt hit into his F Smash if Hotch tried to like push up a little bit. I think that's what he was going for as it like looped mm -hmm. around the platform. But that that's only a guess. Really nice uh, use of the bucket there just to uh, yoink the Thunder Jolt. Hey, you see Hotch just throwing up Smash Jack, trying to cover an approach, but Mouse Rat, very smart, just waiting a little bit longer, not trying to go in. It's definitely one of the scariest moments when you fight against the game and watch and they get into that mode because you have to respect it the entire time. Yep. You, you can't be a little antsy with it. You just have to respect it like you would any other move. But that's the down smash into the up smash. But uh, that's Battlefield not gonna... having such a high ceiling. Yeah, Battlefield definitely coming in clutch right there. That was so close. But another one of those is going to smell victory. But actually throwing out the Thunder Jolt as a bait because he knew that he was probably going to throw out that bucket. And that's going to close it out. Mouse is going to take it 3-0 over Hotch. That was brilliant. That was so 